This presentation introduces you to the content of the VLC class language typology. The presentation is organized as follows. First, we will look at the content of the class and its syllabus. Then we will provide an overview of the e-educational strategies that are applied and will finally list the requirements students have to fulfill to get the class credits. The class is subdivided into three parts. After an overview of the evolution of language and the early principles of language study, with a focus on the comparative method, we will examine and apply the main parameters of language typology, from phonology to syntax. This includes a discussion and exemplification of as many as possible languages. The second part of the typology class is devoted to a more general perspective. We will look at languages and language universals and the main principles of language change. We will have to deal with language endangerment and will eventually investigate the typological changes that the English language underwent. The last two sessions will be used for the analysis projects and their presentation in class. The whole class is organized in such a way that the online content serves as the backbone for our in-class meetings where we will practice using a wealth of exercise material. If you are a remote online student, model solutions and additional online help will be available instead. To realize this ambitious goal of e-teaching and e-learning, we need a special approach towards education. Let us look at this approach that flips the phases of content delivery and practicing. In traditional teaching, content delivery and content acquisition are realized in class, where several dozens of students have to gather at the same time to be entertained by their teacher. In a second phase, students practice on their own, on the basis of additional exercise material, homework tasks, etc. We will flip these two activities. Content acquisition is now self-guided, takes place first and is done online. The additional in-class phase is dedicated to practicing, rehearsing discussion and analysis. This means prior to each in-class meeting students must have worked through the online content of the respective unit on their own. This approach is referred to as the inverted classroom model or the flipped mastery education model. In phase one of this model you are now the autonomous learner. In phase two we will meet in class where classical teaching is now out. Now the central teaching method, it's not really teaching anymore, is that of a cooperative interaction between instructor and students. The content you are given is multimodal and involves all sorts of channels. In our class we will supply you with highly interactive multimedial content, the so-called virtual sessions. Recently we have added video clips, the so-called e-lectures. These are never longer than 15 minutes and are closely connected with the virtual sessions. Furthermore, we have our workbooks. They supply you with the text material but not with any other media and give you the opportunity to supplement the text with the online content. The combination of multimedia, video and text is unparalleled in the world of e-education. Now finally, you want to know what you have to do in order to get the six class credits, where one credit is the equivalent of about 30 hours workload. Well, we want you to actively participate, that's a prerequisite. You have to submit nine ungraded worksheets. These show us that you've dealt with the online content prior to each in-class meeting. We want you to do two graded worksheets which count 20% of the overall grade, one language project, 40% of the overall grade, and finally you will all take part in an e-exam, which is also 
valued with 40% of the overall grade. Well, this class has been taught before and in our class evaluations, which are a constant feature of this class, our students have been very positive about it. So, see you in class. Until then.